Welcome back. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan forced to walk out of a Georgetown University annual immigration conference as protesters would not even let him talk. I've dedicated my career uh, to protecting the right to free speech and all the values we hold dear in America. So we'll go ahead and, and try one more time. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to go back to work and keep trying to secure this country. To also talk about some of the fundamental issues we face with the current legal framework and its ability to address large scale immigration flows. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. I mean, can you blame him? He tried. Not all students were happy with how the school handled that. Some students wanted to hear what he had to say. Campus reform correspondent and Georgetown student Justin Drewer joins us live now with his response. Good morning, Justin. What are uh, some of your, stu with your fellow students saying on campus last night and this morning? Well, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Um, a lot of my fellow students are disappointed at the behavior of the protesters because we have a unique opportunity as students at Georgetown to have speakers such as Acting Secretary McLeanan, um and, and other government officials to offer their perspectives and their experience with us. And it's a valuable insight that we have um, into government regardless mm. of the students' political beliefs. And um, I really wish that we could set aside our partisanship and, uh, and take these opportunities as what they are, very valuable for our education. Yeah, it's certainly been tough to do that as of late. Let's look at a statement from your school. Uh, we do not limit speech either on the content of, of, of the view or the person expressing the view. Uh, we share our partner's regret that the audience did not get to hear from the secretary. Georgetown Law is committed to free speech and expression and the ability of speakers to be heard and engage in dialogue. You know, Justin, we, we saw at the, the, the last Democrat debate, they had some protesters in there and they quickly moved them out of the room. They got them out of there so that the, it could continue and you could hear what the Democrat candidates yeah, had to say. They didn't. In this, yeah, in this case, do you think the school should have kicked these people out of there? In this case, I was not at the event, this particular event, so I'm not sure what the right course of action. I do think the event should have continued um, because the students who came there to uh, hear from the speakers right. had a right to, to learn from the speakers. Um, a, a recent event um, was handled a little bit differently where the protesters were moved out of the room um, and the event was allowed to restart under different circumstances. Um, it, it probably should have been done that way just to allow the students who were there for the right reasons to learn um, from Acting Secretary McAleenan um, to continue hearing the speech. Justin, are you surprised that you're seeing this type of behavior, I guess you would say, so this type of protesting on campus? I mean, we've all been to college. I don't really remember this being a thing when we were in school. Yeah. I think since we live in such partisan times, and since Georgetown is a very politically interested school, mm -hmm. along with increasingly more schools, as we see groups like the Leadership Institute's Campus Reform reports on political activity throughout uh, the country at mm -hmm. different universities, but especially at Georgetown, it's such a politically interested and active school, I think that you'll see probably more protests and more strong opinions among Georgetown students. I think we can do it in a more civil fashion and in a way that doesn't deprive right. people of their rights to free speech yeah. and access to education. Um, better, yes, better than just you. silencing the, uh, the, the other voices in the room. Absolutely. Justin, thank Definitely. you so much. We appreciate it. We'll be right thank back. Thank you for having me.